What up you awesome people, I'm Julian coming through with one more music video review of the night before I go past the hell out. And this one is Nicki Minaj Super Bass, which was dropped 13 years ago and has over a billion views. Yes, I know, not a good bedtime song, but I still listen to it before I go to bed and I'm going to review it for you right now. But first, as always, just before we get into it, the link for the song and music video is down below. And please help this channel to grow by whamming that like button and spamming that subscribe button. Thank you. Now let's dive in. So immediately, wow. Um, I'm a fan of Nicki Minaj. I feel like Nicki Minaj has many bangers. And when this first came out, I'm like, Nicki, you have so many bangers. This was not my cup of tea. But now, excuse me. Now I will say, this is my cup of tea. I definitely dig it. I like the song. And I got opinions about it. But let me just first put my opinions aside and be like, great beat, very classic, generic, like mainstream, cashy beat. It works. And then the lyrics, simple, simplistic, get in your head, grooveable. They work. I dig them. Not my favorite Nicki Minaj song, but again, listening to it now, the song definitely hits. What is your favorite Nicki Minaj song? Please comment it below. And now let's dissect the video. So straight up, let me just say this. Controversially, I am very anti-plastic surgery. However, Nicki Minaj, I'm going to give you this. You're the only person, male or female, well, Leonardo DiCaprio is an exception because he has a nose job and his nose looks fine. But Nicki Minaj, you're the only female I've ever seen that got so much plastic surgery and I'm like, damn, you were hot. Not going to lie. You are hot. Where most people, man or female, I'm going to aesthetically be like, plastic surgery takes so much away and you look much less attractive. But Nikki, you have a good plastic surgeon. Not that I'm promoting it, but you're damn fine. Not going to lie. And hey, you came right out. This is one of like the first songs I feel like where you really popped, showed, and became viral. And yo, it, it's stunning. It shows. It's awesome. It's epic. Now, diving into the music video, catchy fun i'm gonna say this though this is the least sexual music video i've ever seen of yours because typically i see your butt at least a half dozen times in a music video and it was refreshing to not see your butt in this music video just because it's like okay before you show all that off you were going to show off other stuff even fascinating how you got me engaged with the eye blinking at the beginning of the video good job definitely dig it now Let's dissect some of the lyrics because I will say from just an entertainment point, I enjoy the song, enjoy the music video. Initially when I heard it got really overplayed, so I'm like, I don't need to hear it again even though I would be fine when it played. Cool song. I dig it. Thumbs up. Now, I gotta dissect a couple things. You bring up in a lot of your songs how you want a man that sells coke. Clearly, you enjoy cocaine. That's evident. Now, what's fascinating is this was 13 years ago. You're currently dating someone who literally got in tra trouble for raping someone. And I've never understood that because, like, Nikki, you can have almost any dude in the world. Almost. Not everyone likes you, but, like, almost any dude. And you decide to marry a rapist? I just still don't understand that. And just looking at this song where you're like, you want a guy that sells cocaine. Okay. Sure, I bet this rapist sells cocaine and can get it to you, but it's like, girl, did something happen to you? Like, why don't you pick better men? All right, forgetting about your personal life, I like the song, I dig it, I'm a fan, but not a fan of your man picks, let me just say that. I'm a fan of your music picks and your instrumental picks and like the person you're like, I need you to produce my music, but girl... Don't be talking about how you want to like a hot dude, a chiseled hot dude that makes money and potentially sells hardcore drugs to then find out that you're literally like married to a molesting rapist. Yeah, it just brings, you know, the vibe down. The song brings the vibe up. Your personality and real life personal drama brings the vibe down. But if you forget about that, great song. I dig the simplistic lyrics. I think really cool song to show, like put you on the scene. I just hope you mature up because I love your music. I just hate your personal life choices. Why? Why can't you do better personal life choices? You were a queen at hip hop, but you're a simp at the real world. Facts. Sorry, not trying to hate, just trying to state my opinion. I think I drank too much tonight, but yo, 
What do you all think of the song? And what is the best Nicki Minaj song? Comment it below. And in the meantime, damn, Nicki, why can't you marry someone that didn't molest somebody? Straight up. Questions. But hey, cheers, players. And forget them haters. But seriously, Nikki, you can do better.